Generation gap here today. We get all types of people. Have you ever thought that perhaps you're losing touch with the younger generation? <laughs> Sophie, even at your age, you sometimes feel that you don't even know what teenagers are up to? I'm old. You're old? Yeah. So you know there's a generation. <laughs> yeah. You know you're part of a generation. Well, something happened to me this past weekend involving three simple letters that made me feel the generation gap. And I think I found a solution for the generation gap, well, that could be useful even to you, Sophie, <laughs> as old as you are. <laughs> this weekend I attended the UIC graduation for the College of Engineering. And there were hundreds of students graduating, one of which, Vidyani, was an Indian student getting her PhD, so she's in her mid-20s mid somewhere. She's about this height, very thin, very Indian, but also a participant in the UIC Toastmasters organization. So I knew her from Toastmasters, even though I wasn't her advisor. And it was clear to me when I went to the graduation that she would like me to meet her parents who had flown in from India for graduation, very common. Hmm. So after the graduation ceremony, when hundreds of people leave, leave, the, leave the big organization, I wondered, well, where is Vidyani with her parents? I thought, surely she wants a photo. So I texted her, Vidyani, are you outside with your parents? And she texted back, yes, at the bus stop, capital W, small r, little u. Now, I looked at that, and I thought, well, that's, that's a typo of some kind. <laughs> My girlfriend is Polish, and when she sends me texts, she uses the voice dictation, and because of her Polish accent, I get all kinds of strange text messages, right? <laughs> so I figured, Vidyani's Indian, I don't know, it's another one of those strange text messages. W, capital W, small r, little u. So I look at it, I don't know what to do, because I figure somehow it's key to where she's located at the bus stop. I'm thinking, is there a bus stop, W-R-U? I don't know. So I type back, capital W-R-U, with a question mark. Like, what does that mean? And she sends back a text saying, in front of the pavilion by the bus stop, capital W-R-U. I said, what the heck? What is going on here? And it suddenly occurred to me, it must be some kind of code. So I did what Mark suggested. I Googled W-R-U. And what do you think came up? Where are you? <laughs> well, you're smarter than me. <laughs> no, what came up is Welch Rugby Union. I <laughs> said, so why is Vidyani typing and sending me texts about the Welch Rugby Union? And that didn't make any sense. So I went further down and found the Urban Dictionary, which says WR means where are you? Ooh, right? Wow. You know that feeling? Where W? Where are you? Ah, mystery solved. But I felt, oh, Ken, you are so out of it. You can't even figure out. Not only is there a generation gap, your mind is so slow you can't figure out W R U. So eventually I found her over there. But in that was the same solution you found. Instead of suffering through the generation gap and wandering through the streets, I googled WRU and that was the solution. So the next time you're feeling a generation gap, or you're feeling your type A, or you're feeling, where is there a Toastmasters in Chicago? You just google it and get the answer. And when you do that, not only will you be able to find lost young people, <laughs> But you'll be, you'll be able to feel that the generation gap is not so bad because all you have to do is go like that and you're young again. <laughs> hey. Thank you. Ken, our next speaker, Mr. Yes. G. Jitsu Glory.